Morning, loves. Top of, oh gosh, it's not even morning. Afternoon, loves. I don't know. I woke up feeling kind of crazy. So I just stayed in bed and meditated. I love the light in here and the gray, the light gray theme is wearing on me. White might be too, too stark, but I do love white. Why did I wake up kind of crazy? Well, I had an, a day and a night that was both, there I am, looking in the camera up above. That's the only thing with the G7X Mark II. We see that screen and we look straight there. But I'll tell you a little bit more about yesterday upstairs. I'm wondering, should I go on and get a smoothie before I go to the gym or get a smoothie after I come back? Why is it that YouTubers with glasses might not want to vlog with glasses? I don't know. Is it that we innately, inherently think that glasses somehow detract from our beauty or the beauty of who we are? Because when I, it just, it just, when I film, I take off my glasses and try and film without glasses. I've been taking off my glasses now for about two, three years. And maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, two to three years just strengthening, strengthening my eyes without my glasses. And it's been working. But there are times when I need my glasses. But I will say this. I have released my contacts. I just said one day, let the contacts go, Claudia. I was just so exhausted with popping them in and out of my eyes and depending on them. And when you're wearing them, you think that somehow you don't need to ever take them out. And then when you act on that, your eyes are red, exhausted, strained, and you're wondering, are my eyes any stronger with these contacts? I just stopped wearing contacts. Truth be told, I did notice a significant improvement in my vision without wearing my contacts. I got jammed up with Final Cut Pro yesterday. And I was working on it to edit a vlog because on this channel, I've been MIA. MIA entirely too much. For, for various reasons, but I know I've been MIA. Now, I did get a video up for my main channel, Claudia Moss. And I was pleased with it because I worked on it for two days, guys. Two days. I just got a new Final Cut Pro program. Yay! Uh, a software. And it is the Final Cut Pro from Apple. So no downloading it um, pirate fashion from the internet. And I started learning it again. And it took me about half a day and half a day to practice and a, half, and a day and a half to work on my video. Long story short, I got that video up and it's called I Tried to Follow 
a raindrops makeup tutorial and this is what happened I just want to take my glasses off for a second all right now pleased with it video within a video all of that what happened I could not set the default for keeping my files in place and not letting them go to be copied to the Final Cut Pro library and I couldn't change that default all I know is I dropped those clips in and guys my Mac storage went crazy because I put in like two three clips of uh, of video footage storage discs I I know it was me I created it I created the havoc nobody else but I was so upset that my Mac was threatening to faint and fall out because it was saying you don't your um, disc is full so now I'm waking up I went to bed giving up I didn't give up I submitted to the situation because I just couldn't do it anymore it was in the morning maybe three four o'clock and I just I, this is a rant did this turn into a rant oh anyway I woke up off kilter and I got myself back together by giving myself the time in bed to get myself together. I listened to meditation music, water, uh, bells, chimes, sounds. I looked at beauty, Samantha Maria, the beauty crush. I looked at, I looked at Tasha's uh, vlogs and I saw one with Tasha Green and her mom. I just, I love their vlogs. And I just kept me to myself because I needed myself in the moments of this morning, this new morning, this new day. So now that I'm up, I got some water and got myself together and I'm going to the gym to enjoy working out. When I get back, we'll go from there.
Hey guys, I am at the gym as you can see and I sat down on the side over there where you first saw me stretching and I enjoyed while being present my friend Brendalyn and it was so awesome that she picked up because she's at work in her office but she picked up and she chatted with me and I am so happy because it's important to connect with beloved friends. We go way, way back. <laughs> so it's always a pleasure for me to connect with her. She just got back from the Philippines. Um, she is a globe trotter. I love, love, love uh, connecting with her and learning about the different places that um, she deals with, the different places uh, that she travels to and experiences. It's like vicariously being there with her. Oh, I think I, that was one time around. I've got nine more times to make a mile. I'll go around nine times and then I will head down stairs to get on one of the machines, several of the machines. I love the machines downstairs. Uh, so this will be my warm up and then I will make another mile or so and that will be my cool down. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I'm back from the gym. I feel like I was in there all day. And primarily, I was. Basically, I was. I went in about three and I talked with my beloved friend. Like I told you guys, that was wonderful. I was present. I was there. And then I... I must have spoken with her for what, maybe an hour? Then I mm, got up and exercised for about two and a half to three hours. So here I am. This little number was just like the gym stopped breathing for a minute. Yeah, it had that effect. That's okay. When I see a woman in a fabulous workout outfit and she looking good I stopped breathing also for a sec uh, but I will say that I admire people who let me say say what they have to say no matter what no matter what there you are this guy came over he was like oh my god I just want to say, you are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I saw him looking, but I kept, I was doing my thing. I was exercising, but he came over and I had to give him a thank you so much. I appreciate that because he did what was on his heart to do. And that's what I think I really love about men they do what they have to do like if I see a beautiful woman and I want her to know she's beautiful I will find a way to tell her uh, but to just come over and say you are so beautiful you are beautiful say it with nothing in return expected no thank you you just hand her your thoughts and say it and go on that's a beautiful thing absolutely beautiful so when he was leaving you know he got to the top of the stairs and looked back and kind of smiles I had to tell him bye thank you and when you see a beautiful woman when you see a beautiful person let them know let her know you are beautiful you are beautiful to me that's just 
it. So now, I'm gonna go in here, get something to eat, drink, and whatever else will be, will be. <laughs>